So we're starting on deck six forward and just got off the elevator. We're gonna head to Emerald's Bistro for breakfast. Um, so as you come off the elevators here, you have the Punchliner Comedy Club. Really good comedians they have on board. Of course, there's the Mardi Gras. And then we have Piano Bar 88. Gustavo has been the uh, piano bar entertainment. And then we come into kind of the Grand Central area. We got Java Blue over here. We had breakfast there yesterday. And they have breakfast sandwiches ready to go. Heat them up. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, oh. And I kind of got some muffins over here. And then some pastries. And these are all included. Good morning, how are you? Oh, not right now, I'm just videoing. What's that? Hello. Hello. And breakfast here is... 7.30 You too. YouTube. Say hello. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Grand Central area. Grand Central Bar. And this is actually where you come onto the ship. Unlike some of the other ships where I think you come on, what, three? Okay. Cherry on top is also here for the candy lovers. Did we miss the gym? I know it's on six as well. get that. Now we're coming into the French Quarter and the Brass Magnolia. But you've seen some footage, some of our other videos. This is the Brass Magnolia. We have some nice entertainment here. Uh, more like on the jazz, jazzy side, I guess, but... Uh, Last night we were here for a uh, movie trivia with the uh, violins playing movie songs. You had to guess the, the movie. Uh, this is the Flamingo main dining room. So it's mostly for set time dining, but this is where, this is where we've been enjoying our dinners. And then over here we have the Fortune Teller restaurant, or <laughs> bar, rather. <laughs> um, we've got some video of some of the drinks and so forth from there. Quarter, and we're going 
gonna stop here for a bite at Emerald's Bistro. Okay, so here we are at Emerald's Bistro and our food is starting to arrive. So um, I got a shrimp creole omelet. So we got the omelet with sweet potato fries and a tomato. And then, um, oh, here comes morning, yours. Good morning. Good morning. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get over there on that. All right, what did you get? Citrus. Citrus and pain Purdue. Citrus pain Purdue. That looks really good. I'm not sure what it means. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got some beignets. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to let you know what we think of here about Emerald's Bistro Breakfast. Let's take a bite of the omelet. really good it's interesting I never would have thought about shrimp with eggs but it's actually not a bad combination and the sweet potato fries they're sweet potato fries nothing special just sweet potato fries so if you like them if you like sweet potato fries these are really good let's try the beignets there's the chocolate dipping sauce and the strawberry dipping sauce. Oops. What's the verdict? Mm, very good. Nice and airy. You can see the airy inside. You can get it a little closer. If you like powdered sugar. <laughs> How does it compare to the beignets we actually had in New Orleans? Well, pretty close to the same. No. Cafe Dumont. Yeah. Well, there you go. We're going to enjoy breakfast. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We haven't even tried yours yet. Let's give this it a try. This has like a creme brulee cream. So we'll see how that goes with a little bit of the strawberry compote. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Lots of singing on the ship. Very good. Awesome. There you have it. <laughs> Emerald's Bistro Breakfast. I should point out that it is not included. Um, it is a, a upcharge, but it's only $6. Uh, the beignets were $5. So $11 breakfast. And, um, you know, typically we would just do, um, you know, one of the other included options. But um, obviously since we wanted to you know, do more videos and content like that. We wanted to try some other stuff, some things that we wouldn't typically do, um, just so we could, uh, you know, have more information for, for you folks. All right, I'm coming out of the French Quarter. Uh, here we have Carnival Kitchen. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> can take cooking classes in there. Sir, I love oh, blogger. Good the... morning to you. Yes, sir. I love blogger, hello. Yes, good so morning. Here are in front of the Palm restaurant. Oh. Hospitality and friendliness are existing every day. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Yes. And there's the Palm restaurant. Here? And more elevators.
Here's the one thing that's interesting. So I've seen, probably seen the videos for the restrooms. So they have the touchless. So you just wave your hand in front of that. Turns red, the door opens. So almost everything's touchless. And then they have another one. So the door's closing and you just wave your hand in front of that and it opens. So they're really not that complicated and they're pretty reliable. <laughs> Haven't had any issues with them at all. So, all right, yeah, that's the French Quarter. I'm <clears throat> heading back towards the forward part of the ship. You can see there's some shops. So the shops are a little bit more split up, wouldn't you say, yeah. on the Mardi Gras, as opposed mm -hmm. to some of the other ships that we've been on so you got hip fish and here's your fragrances they're all kind of have their own separate storefronts now it's kind of like a a big mall <laughs> if you will but um so this ship is just huge and so here's the center stage and i know you've probably seen some video clips but Look at that view. So right now it's all open and you can just see out, see the ocean going by, which is really awesome. And then when they do shows, and I'm sure you've seen this on other videos as well, they basically close that off and change the background to whatever the background is. So, whether it's Family Feud, Win, Lose, or, or No Deal, or No Deal. <laughs> so, they just changed it. So, anyway, we're going to grab a coffee over here at Java Blue, run these up to the room, and then we are off to our, our next deck. I think before we do that, I will get a shot of Jim for you because that's down here on six as well so you get one i'll be right back so we're headed back the direction that we came Okay, so six forward. Here's the fitness center. Some machines, some free weights. Dumbbells. Nice view off the treadmills.
And then right across from the gym is the Cloud9 Spa. So we're coming out of the casino. So we're out of the casino and into the Grand Central area. And this is where we're gonna find some of the shops. And of course, it's busy because there's some sales and deals going on right now. A lot of uh, 50th birthday swag and merch. So I think a lot of people will do these ship tours when they're in port and there's not a lot going on, but I want you to see what's really happening. Look at that. Mm, here's some more. Mm -hmm. Some salt life stuff here. Two for forty deals. Oh, wait on the No, you're good. <laughs> Limited edition coins. Anyway, so that's what's up. Alright. Coming out of the traffic and headed to the Alchemy Bar. Yes. We were here last night a couple times. And uh, so I'll have some alchemy bar specific content to show just the talent level of those bartenders I mean they're amazing so it's very crowded back there in the shops just met back up with Ange good morning, good morning. oh there's see and from up here in the alchemy bar you see down on Emerald's Bistro and there's grandma and grandpa getting ready to check that out yeah, so you got this nice seating area. That's one of the things that I think is, is nice on this ship is the seating area for the Alchemy Bar is much bigger than some of the other ships that I've been on with the, Al or with the Alchemy Bar. I think the bar area itself is a bit bigger. Then you kind of got this immediate seating area around it. Uh, so lots of, lots of seating options here. And then, of course, right here, there's more seating options. And I think we're just about to the rear of the ship. A little bit left here. It's 
So as we come back here, of course there's stairs to go up to the next deck. Um, and then we come in here, you got the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Now that is not included. Um, it is an upcharge. And what I will say <clears throat> is they have really great food. Um, Angie and I did the steakhouse last summer um, when we were sailing on the horizon. And we went on the first night and I really enjoyed that because what's cool about the first night is if you go on the first night of the cruise, one, you don't have to dress up, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, you can go casual and also you get a free bottle of wine. So something to think about if you want to try the steakhouse, just remember it is an upcharge. It's not that expensive. I think it was like $35, $40. No, $42. Okay, it's up to $42 now. Um, but that first night, you can go casual and you get a free bottle of wine. Um, so here's the Dream Studio for doing some photography. And then we're back here to the Palm restaurant again. I believe that's it for deck seven. Okay, so we are on deck deck eight now, um, and we are <laughs> we are in the aft of the ship, which is the rear of the ship. And what you're gonna find is this area they call summer landing. So in summer landing, we've got guys pig and anchor. And it's got the brewery, as you can see. And they do offer brewery tours, but you gotta get them booked early because they sell out fast. And um, so they do serve breakfast here. And guys, pick an anchor. They have a buffet. It's just like the Lido buffet though. Right, yeah, it's just like the Lido buffet. Um, but you can get it here. So it just kind of spreads everybody out, right, a little bit. Um, so it's not quite as crowded, but you can see you got the, the buffet here. And I will say, and I think I had this in one of our other videos, that if you like a Bloody Mary, then this is the place to come get a Bloody Mary because it's the best on the ship. Um, over here is a really cool area. Um, called the Heroes Lounge. So it's a tribute to our troops. So a lot of you know decorations. There's some what is widely considered to be the best ice cream on the ship right here because it's inside, so it stays colder. But again. Just a lot of patriotic decor. Just a place to come. Celebrate our troops. Those that sacrificed to give us the freedom to be here right now and enjoying all this uh, that this ship has to offer. And then the last part, I guess, of summer landing is this uh, port side liquor and tobacco. So like I've said in one of the other videos, you know, everything's kind of a bit more split out. So the liquor and tobacco has its own little uh, storefront. And the tobacco is standard stuff, cigarettes. There's some cigars. They're all Gur Gurkha cigars. So if you're not a Gurkha fan, probably not gonna like the cigar selection. And then we come back here. I'll fog up a little bit. And we've got this scene. Which is probably the coolest area of the ship. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna walk on out there. And hopefully I'm not gonna fall into my coffee there. We'll take the stairs. 
Safety first. Look at this. Ooh. Yeah. The water feels good. We got loungers. Look, they've got this infinity ledge. Which brings you right up to this. I've just always thought that this is just the coolest view on the ship. But it's so much cooler when you can walk out here on this and experience it. And you could see that some of the staterooms available on the aft of the ship have their own balcony which gets to look out over that so that's really cool where to you're recording yeah Continue around the corner here. This is something that shouldn't be done, but people are doing it. Yeah. People come out early and saving chairs. Not one person out here. Yeah, not one person out here. But again, killer view. Just up out of summer landing and we've come back in to the midship area where you have the piazza panini and normally when it's open this will be filled with some of these panini choices and They'll just have them sitting there and you order which one you want, put it in the presses and heat them up back there and you're good to go. We've tried uh, a few of them and they are really good sandwiches. And I normally don't do sandwiches on the cruise. I'm usually sticking to like a guy's burger or pizzeria del Capitano. So unlike almost every other ship that we've been on, where Pizzeria del Capitano is um, in the aft of the ship on the Lido deck. This is kind of in the midship on deck eight. And it's interesting because it is supposed to be 24 seven. But I guess we're on a break. Is it not 24 seven on here? But there's not any pizza going on right now. Okay. And then, continuing forward, you have Bar Della Rosa, 
It's a great spot to get a coffee or a, a coffee f enhanced beverage. Hola. Hola. You have a bar on the inside and the outside. Yeah, so it goes, you can see it goes on the outside as well. And then we come over here to Cucina del Capitano. Again, this is um, not included for dinner, but I think it's open for lunch. And, um, but is an upcharge for dinner. Then we have this little guy here. I guess it's just rolling with the Italian theme. Pixels. So in the pixels area, you're just gonna come up to one of these displays and enter your folio number, your date of birth, so they can verify who you are. Um, and then it'll pull up all the pictures that they've taken of you while you've been on the ship or when you disembark to go into port and they take your pictures there. Um, we didn't find any, but sometimes back in these areas here are good places to find a duck if you're duck hunting on the ship. But we didn't find any um, in there. They were probably already um, picked off, but yeah, you can see again, um, Cucina del Capitano over there. And they do sell some, you know, photography equipment. $3.99 for the GoPro 10. Now, this is also where you come to get your VIFP pen. Uh, they don't leave them in the room anymore. But uh, I think Angie just tried to get ours. And it's not available until 10 o'clock. So, again, a lot of Mardi Gras inaugural season and 50th birthday merch available. Okay, so as we're coming back now, we're in kind of in the Grand Central area again. We're up on 8, so this is the top level. Again, you can see the Grand Central stage and just that view of the ocean. is really amazing. But as we come around the corner, so we were in the Pixels area. So now we're coming around the corner, continuing forward. You get into a couple more shops. So we've got Effie and Front Street Watches in here. So if you're into some fine jewelry, you will find it in here. And the fantastic crew, ever entertaining and always providing the highest level of service. Then we got watches over here. All right, then we have the uh, Bonsai Sushi. But you can order the the sushi boat at dinner time. Right. Brought right to your dinner table. Yeah, you can order the sushi boat. It's uh, like sushi for two. And you can order it from the main dining room for an upcharge of $20 and have it delivered right to your table. So if you don't like what's on the menu that evening and don't mind a little bit of an upcharge, you can do that. Um, 
Then there's Tapanyaki right next door. This is a steakhouse. So again, this is on up. No, yeah, this is an upcharge currently. Many more tables though. Yeah, you have to make a reservation. The reservations go quick. So if it's something that uh, you think you might be into, I suggest. Good morning. I suggest you make those reservations early. Just look at that. That view is amazing. And I, I will say, if you're walking and looking at that at the same time, <laughs> watch your balance. Awesome. And we've got Dream Studio. And as we get to the forward portion of deck eight, <clears throat> you've got the Havana bar. We'll go through there in a second. And Shebang. All right, and Shebang is uh, not an upcharge, but you do have to make a reservation. Yes, for dinner, yeah. Um, so currently not an upcharge. Uh, normally it would be. Um, it is also our muster station. So this is where we came and did our muster drill. And this is where they actually have the life jackets. They don't have the life jackets in the room. So, um, yeah, we're on deck 16 forward. And that's where our room is. We're on deck 16 forward and six, 16, two, six, two. Um, and that's our muster station. So, and here we have the Havana bar. So if you have a Havana cabin and then you get the wristband when you have the Havana cabin, which allows you access to this area outside here um, for, for those with the Havana cabins. But otherwise you can come and enjoy the Havana bar. Um, it's a great bar. Um, they make a really good um, espresso martini here. But uh, yeah, anybody can come and hang out and enjoy the Havana bar. And they usually have some entertainment going on in here. You can see they got the stage set up and so they may have trivia. Um, although most of, the, most of the trivia has been happening down in Summer Landing, um, which was the guy's pig and anchor area. Um, but they will have a lot of karaoke on going on and then, um, you know, music at night. Okay, well, that's the Havana bar. <laughs> and that is it for decade. All right, so now we're up on deck 17. So this is the upper, kind of upper Lido. And just kind of getting a little sun time now. And two of my daughters, Bailey and Maddie, are getting ready to do Bolt here shortly. They've got an appointment, I think, for 11.30. So... Yeah, so let's just go take a walk about deck 17. Got the morning show going on. Red frog. Oh, they're on the ropes course. That's my oldest daughter. 
Oh, and there's there's Gangway Adventures Mama up there doing some recording of the ropes course. Deck 17. But really, this just goes around. And this is going to come out in the aft of the ship. So they kind of have these areas here covered nice and shaded with some seating options available some nice views just look at this kind of zigzag in and out of these dividers and here's the smoking section so 17 aft and I guess we're on the starboard have that wrong. Always get starboard and port side when we're not in port mixed up. Yes, I was correct. Starboard. Anyway, so this just goes around again, but again, once again, look at this view. And head on up to deck 18. Here's deck 18. Now they 
will check because Bolt has a height weight limit and it's 300 pounds per person. Okay, so not 300 pounds total, 300 pounds per person. And, and what's the maximum height? 6'5". 6'5". 6'5". That's as tall as you can be. So here are the... Size track. It's not. Um, it's not real big, but it is here. And you can walk around that to get your laps in in the morning, which I have really not done a very good job of this trip. Got the basketball court area and the ropes course. tables all right so we're on the track seven laps is one mile Getting on for yes. I don't know. There it is. Infamous whale tail.
was it? Give us a review. I'm recording. Um, it's way faster than it looks. <laughs> it's yeah. really fun. It didn't scare me like the road sports. You go on your left is a throttle so you can go faster. And then on the right, there's, or, sorry, that's right, there's a throttle. Left, there's a boost button. So on the downhills in the streets, you hit the boost and it goes as fast as it can go. Yeah, it's, it was pretty good. I said I'd pay $15 to do that. Again. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that is a good, important point. In addition to the height and the weight limitations, um, it's important to note that Bolt is, uh, is an upcharge, $15 per person, and it's only available on which days? No, it's available. They haven't been running it, but I think they do Okay. I thought there were some days that it wasn't available. But. I just, I've seen it. Yeah, you just have to check this schedule. Yeah. Yeah, they will weigh you and, and confirm that. It doesn't tell them how much you weigh, though. It just says green light or red light. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, that's good to know. It doesn't tell you the exact weight. So $15, you do have to reserve your spot. So just get on the Carnival Hub app and, uh, you know, check available times, make your reservation, and go have some fun on Bolt. Okay. So we just finished up with Bolt on deck 18, and now, um, yeah, they're getting some waters because they've been out in the sun, and I'm going to go do the rest of deck 18. So you kind of have to come down on deck 17 because the Lido deck area separates deck 18. So... We come up on deck 18 and we're going to go back and that's where we're going to find the serenity. There you are. Still trying to figure out this gimbal. <laughs> deck 18. This is where we're going to get into the serenity area now this is adult only but um it's included so it's not anything you have to pay extra money for there is an area and i'll show you that that is a pretty significant upcharge and that's for this area up here called loft 19 we're not going to go up there. You have to uh, pay for the... There's cabanas there. And I think if you have certain... Maybe it's an XL suite. You can get those cabanas. Otherwise, there's some that are available for rent. But up here on the Serenity Deck, um, there's hot tubs. Um just generally generally more quiet area not quite the party atmosphere of the Lido deck As you can see they have these loungers some shaded areas get into the Serenity Pool area, which I've shown you previously. Serenity Bar. And then they also have the salad bar, basically, that's available um, certain days on sea days, and you know, they just kind of have some light creations so alright now I don't recall if I've heard this out before but again got lot 19 area up there with the cabanas that can be rented and then also this area here of lot 19 as you can see has a private pool that is open for everybody below it to 
to see. So here's what my advice for you is if you happen to rent that space and use that pool, just be aware that everything you do is visible to everybody down here. And I will leave it at that. But, uh, you know, we've seen some folks in there that I think maybe they forgot that, you know, we could see everything that was going on. Nothing, nothing grossly inappropriate, but I just think some things that if you were cognizant of that, you probably would uh, do something different. So anyway, yeah, so that's the Serenity area. And here's, again, wristband required for entry, you know, so you can, as with most things on the ship, scan a QR code and get all the details. Another hot tub area. see coming back around to the Lido area where the morning show is still going on right. so that basically concludes the ship tour 17 and I did realize there's one important area that I didn't point out and that is Guy's Burger Joint. So, can't believe I left that out. I definitely wanted to point that out. And yeah, I think that concludes our ship tour. And you know, most of the other decks are staterooms. And um, down on deck four, I think is where you find all the kids clubs and whatnot. You know, we're kind of past that at this point. So we didn't go down and check that out. We're not going to cover that on our on our ship tour. Um, but certainly, if you want to see that, there are others that have, that have covered that extremely well. So, anyway, that's it for now. Catch you later.